Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 3.10 from Sadiku book. So the question is find I0 in this circuit. Okay, I0 is the current that passed through this 8 ohm resistor. And what can we do from the circuit first? Maybe let's set this bottommost node here as our ground. So we know that the voltage here will be assumed as 0. Okay, and now let's label this node here as V1. And we label this node here as V2. And we label this node here as V3. Good. And now let's assume the direction of the current. Maybe this is going down. This is going down. This is also going down. And this is going to the right. And for the current source bands, I just follow the direction of the arrow. So this will be goes to the right. And this is going to the right. Good. And now we can do KCL at V1, KCL at V2, and then KCL at V3. Okay, now let's do KCL at V1. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. The only current that goes in, ah, there is no current that goes in. All are going out. So let's calculate each one. The current that goes in is zero. So the current that goes out, this one here, is V1 minus zero divided by eight. Right? Then plus this current here, which is four ampere. So you have four there. And then this current here. And that current will be V1 minus v3 divided by okay that's good so to get rid of this 8 i win i will multiply both sides here by 8 okay 0 and 8 will be 0 and then 8 and 8 will cancel each other so i will have v1 minus 0 which is v1 and for this term i will have 4 multiplied by 8 that will be 32 and then we will have 1 and 8 will be 8, right? So I will have 8 V1 and then minus 8 V3. So we will have V1 plus 8 V1. That should be 9 V1, right? So I will have 9 V1 minus 8 V3. That will be equal to... Let's move this 32 to the left hand side. So I'll have minus. Okay, this is the equation number. Let's move on to the other equation, which is KCL at V2. Let's write that KCL at V2. And KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. The only current that goes in is this 4 ampere current source, so I will have 4, and that will equal to V2 minus 0 divided by 2. And then uh, this current here will be 2I0. Okay, 2I0. That. And I think I will substitute this I0 first. So I will have 4 is equal to V2 minus 0. That will be V2 over 2. And then we will have 2 multiplied by I0 is this one. So I will have V1 minus 0 divided by 8. Right? So 2 and 8 will cancel into 4. Good. And we can multiply both sides here by 4 to get rid of all the denominator. This one will be 16. And this one will be 2v2. And then this one will be 4 and 4 will cancel each other. So I will have plus v1. Okay. So let's rearrange this. I will have v1 plus 2v2 is equal to 16. Let's save this as equation number 2. Okay, so we have two equations, but three variables. We still need one more equation. 
let's clean up the slide because so far our slide is good. let's clean up that first okay so far we get these two equation from node 1 and node 2 now let's move on to the kcl at node v3 let's write that kcl at v3 kcl said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out okay good now the only current that goes in is from this one and that will be 2i0 so i have 2i0 here and then plus there oh yeah this current is going in also so i will have this current which is v1 minus v3 divided by 1 okay and then the last one is the current that goes out which is p3 minus 0 divided by okay maybe let's do some math first so i will have 2 i0 is this current here so i will have p1 minus 0 divided by 8 right and this one because this is divided by 1 i will have p1 minus p3 and then on the right hand side i will have p3 over and 2 and 8 will cancel into 4 right and from here we can multiply both sides by 4 to get rid of that 4 4 and 4 will cancel each other p1 minus 0 is just p1 so i will have p1 for this term and then we will have this term here multiplied by 4 i will have 4 p1 and then this one here i will have minus 4 p3 and then here i will have p3 good and now i will have 5 p1 minus 5 p3 and that will equal to 0 or we can divide both sides by 5 so I'll have p1 minus v3 is equal to 0 and this is the third equation okay so we have three equation and three variables if we write it in the matrix form that will be 9 and then 0 minus 8 and then the second one I will have 1 2 0 and then the third one I will have 1 0 minus 1 okay we will have this one p1 p2 and p3 okay and then this one will be minus 32 and then 16 and then 0 from this we can get p1 p2 and p3 the fastest way is by using calculator. let's set up our calculator as equation solver which is number five three variables is number two and we will have nine zero minus eight and then minus 32 okay and then one then two then zero then 16 and then 1 and then 0 minus 1 and then 0 okay so we will have p1 here is minus 32 okay let's let's have that p1 is minus 32 volt and what is v2 v2 is 24 volt and then what is v3 v3 is minus 32 volt minus 32 okay good but this is not what we asked by the question the question asked about i0 is i0 i0 is this one here p1 minus 0 which is v1 divided by the resistance between them which is a so i will have p1 here is minus 32 divided by a 
So finally, we can get the final answer here. I0 is minus 32 divided by 8, which is 4 ampere. And let's highlight that because we have worked hard to find this answer. And that's all. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.